Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Trace Clinic. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. Ting, 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 ting. Guys, I'm going to be doing the high density foam ones, basically, our little red ones. Um, now we've got two different sizes. This is a very tight one, ideal for chocker blob baits. This one here is more for a fleshy bait. It's a little bit more space between it. Um, and I'll show you now when we do it what happens. Okay, the chocker one, because it's the quicker and easiest one. All I'm going to do is I've got two little pieces of chocker here. I'm going to use my chocker hammer, my aluminium chocker hammer. It's very thin, very fine chocker. I've hit both sides of the actual chocker. All I'm going to do, and I haven't put a hook on yet, but all you do is you just wrap it around the actual foam ball, like that. You then take Kingfisher's thin latex cotton. This is it here. And you just wrap it. This is ideal for when you want to throw long distance. Great for hammerhead stuff like that, that you're going to float up quite high in the water column. So that's pretty much the first piece finished. I then take in a smaller piece and I'm going to do exactly the same. Turning it over. Okay, so there's the second piece. And just, again, just wrap it around nicely. The second piece you don't have to cotton up too much. And the reason being is it's just there more for scent than anything else. So there we go, that one's done. There is a lovely chocker bait that all we're going to do is stick our hook through. Like that. Our sinker then for the long distance casting, you're just going to clip in there like that. And there's a lovely long distance casting bait. If you're fishing in very clean water, you can add a tentacle to it. Coming up the side over here. So it looks like a little mouse tail basically coming out. If you want, it'll just give a bit more uh, movement. But what I seem to like doing is taking my lovely glitter, sprinkle a little bit of glitter on it, just to give it a little bit more color in the water. You can use red, you can use blue, you can use any color you want. And all it does is when it hits the water, all these little sparkly glitter parts of it just start forming down in that little water column, dropping in that water column. And yeah, it just creates more more visual sparkle in the water. It looks like scales, if you want to call it. But there's a small bait that you can throw a mile. Nice to get to those far banks and that. It does float high in the water column as well. So there's a very quick and easy way of doing it with chocker. I'm going to show you now the red eye version or the fleshy version. And that one is done on a longer, there's more movement on either side of the actual uh, flotation here, and I'll show you why. As we do it, I'm just going to take this red eye here. I'm going to take some thin cutlets, not making them very thick. The thinner you can cut it, the easier it is for you to actually mold it around the actual bait. Okay, so there we go. Just going to do that. That. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to take the thin red eye, lay it next to it, the center part of the actual um, flotation. And this, like I say, is for floating up high in the water column. And again, nice for hammerheads, gray sharks, um, fishing in very deep water. Thin latex cotton always works the best for these kind of uh, fleshy baits. 
just going to cut off that part there. There we go. There we go. Nice little bait. Going to go on the opposite side. Do exactly the same thing. There we go. Over there. The next one. Over here. I'm exposing as much flesh as possible when doing this bait. And last but not least, where am I missing? I'm missing some over here. Yeah, let me put it that side. Now, grab your hook, stick your hook through that loop over there, come around, and you've got to cotton this up. Over the hook, around the hook, over the hook, over the hook, down, around. Just so that the dangle doesn't come off. And then to finish it off, you just do half edge there, another half edge there, another one there. Pull it together. And there is a lovely, fleshy dangle bait that you can throw a country mile. There's two of them. Okay. So simple as that, guys. Go out there, make your own. Using our nylon dangle and our, uh, our braid dangle. I'm gonna show you two, two ways of doing it. These are exactly the same. I'm just gonna use one of them. Okay, again, works very well with cutlets. I'm gonna use, ah, let's use a nylon one. Okay, so all we're gonna do is cut a very thick piece. This is important. And your bait needs to be semi-frozen for this. So you cut one thick piece, cut another thick piece, one thin piece, and another thin piece. There we go. Okay, we're going to take our um, dangle with our solid ring on. Take a hook. Okay, let's just take that hook there. We then take... Once we've got our dangle on, remember, this one has not got any heat shrink on it. So it moves around very freely. We're going to take our red eye that I'm using, stick it through the flesh of the actual bait. Okay. We're then going to take our thin latex cotton and just tie that on all the way through. Over there, there we go. Take our next thick piece on the opposite side. There we go. We're then going to take our thin, two thinner pieces over here. Just lightly heat them just to soften them up a little bit with our aluminium trucker hammer. And that goes onto the opposite side like that. It makes a lovely thin bait, a sausage bait if you want to call it, that exposes a lot of the flesh on either side. So you're getting maximum amount of smell and flavor out as quickly as possible. It doesn't look the best, you can obviously add a bit of um, chocker to it if you want, if there's a lot of peckers around. But as you see here, uh, it gets a lot of smell out very, very quickly. Um, if you do have a problem with peckers, take a little bit of um, chocker. Take a bit of chocker. Just beat it ever so lightly on both sides. And you can either just add it to one side or you can wrap it around. It doesn't really make a difference. It's up to you as an individual how you want to do it. What you prefer. And I'll just show you here quickly. Okay, so all we've done is just wrap some chocker around. You can make it thicker, you can make it thinner. 
depending on what you require. But that's quick and easy, that's how you do it. There we go guys, very simple way of doing a, a nylon dacron, uh, a nylon dangle. There we go, easy bait. I'm gonna be doing our uh, dacron one, which is very soft and supple. You can use it with a variety of baits. Um, I'm just gonna show you how you do it with a head. It's just so quick and easy. You take your head, cut it off, cut it at an angle like that. If you want, you can use cutlets where you just cut the cutlets down, but I'm just gonna do a head. Take it, stick it through the back here. And again, it runs down the backbone. If you go down the backbone part of it, you'll always come out at the mouth. Stick it through, the Dacron puller, pull it back through, there we go. Your hook will go in over there. Your Dacron's there. And we just go whoa, 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 all the way down. Shut the mackerel's mouth up. Cheers, bar, thank you very much for coming. There we go, quick and easy. Good to go. Just another version of a, a dangle that you can use, guys. We're gonna be using a soft Dacron with soft foam. These are shared bungs that I've actually softened up. It floats extremely high in the water. It works extremely well for finicky fish. Um, I'm just gonna use a squid. Normal little squid, nothing fancy about it. Cut him open. Again, I'm going to make a, a bait that you can throw quite far. Just going to take off the skin here. Okay, there we go. All I'm going to do is take my chocker hammer and lightly beat it to expose a lot of the actual smell. Using our aluminium chocker hammer, I'm using the small teeth on it. I left the ink sac there, so you can see the ink sac is now starting to go through. Okay, best thing to do is to take it and just to measure how big you actually want it to be. So we'll make it there and over there. So we're going to take that apart away. We're then going to take our head of our chocker. Leave that part there out. We're now gonna wrap our head of our chocolate. and I'm just gonna quickly beat it so the tentacles actually stay quite firm. Just gonna soften up these tentacles here quickly. Okay. The head always faces down. So in other words, away from your ring. So when you throw it, it actually, yeah, just more aerodynamic coming out this way. If you understand, the tentacles are behind, you're throwing that way. Okay, so we take it like that. Then go between the eyes with the cotton. Very important that you go between the eyes. What that's gonna do is bulge up the eyes and it's gonna make the arms actually open up. The, the tentacles actually open up. Even though it's gonna be hidden, it's gonna give you that shape that you want. Okay, so there we go, you got the eyes bulging out. You've got the actual um, legs in that doing that. We just take out the little, and I forgot to do that right in the beginning, the little feeler part, uh, the mouth part, the beak part. So I've just taken the beak out. I should have done that in the beginning, sorry. I was a bit slack in doing that. Okay, so there we go. You can see he's already opening up. He's now looking more like an actual squid. We're then gonna take our chocker and we're just going to wrap it around the actual bait. And there we go. Might have to cut it slightly smaller at the back here. Which I think I'm going to have to do right now. Take our scissors. And we're just going to shape it before we tie it too much. So I'm just shaping it. There we go. 
to get that ball shape that I want to make it aerodynamic when it goes through the air. There we go. Then we're gonna again grab it there. We're gonna go over the eyes, just to bulge those eyes out a bit. Change it around. Take the tentacles out from underneath here. And there we go. Come back over to this side of it. And tie it off. We then grab a hook, take a hook through it. Slide that ever so slightly down. And there we go. There's our little squid bait ready for throwing. Obviously we're gonna clip it on. We're gonna throw it and it's gonna go through the air. Very aerodynamic. It looks like a little squid. And the feelers are out, the tentacles are out. When you throw it, it's gonna go, that's gonna close up. So very wind and aerodynamic when it goes through the air. But that's basically what it looks like. When it hits the water, it's gonna float up like that. And then you pull it down, up, down. Obviously, it's gonna look like a little fish coming, a uh, little squid coming up, going down, going up, coming down. So there we go. That's what it looks like, guys. Very aerodynamic. It's gonna float high up in the water column as well. So it looks like a little cuttlefish. And there we go. It's as easy as that. It's nothing difficult about these baits. My secret weapon. The swimmer. This is the swimming dangle. Okay. A little bit more complicated to make, but it's, it works like a dream. Okay. What I require for it? Thin latex cotton, some secret kingfisher eyes, a knife, scissors, and of course my chocker. There we go. Let me just grab a, a set of eyes quickly. So now I've taken a little chocker. I just want to grab my eyes out of it quickly. These are the kingfisher ones. All I'm gonna do quickly is take it and cut it down. And there we go. The other side of it, do exactly the same. So what I wanna do is get myself some lovely little eyes. You can leave them on if you want. Hell, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna leave it on here for you, just to show you how it does work. Let's neaten it up a little bit here. The other side. So I've got two sets of eyes. I'm gonna take some chocker over here. I'm gonna cut long tentacle out of this chocker bait. There we go, one long tentacle. Like so. Just cut it to size. It's a little bit big. There we go. I'm now going to take a thick piece of chocker like that. So a nice thick juicy piece of chocker. Put it with the skin side facing up. Our thick part of our chocker hammer and it's going to be noisy. I'm just gonna soften that part of it. I'm then turning it over and taking the thin side and I'm gonna hit it until it's almost, yeah, like I always say, like snot. Okay, so as simple as that. Now, I'm just gonna measure the size that I'm looking for and that's pretty much it there. So two pieces like that should do it. Okay, there we go. So all I did was cut two pieces out of that one piece that I had there. I'm then going to take the tentacle part and again, with the thick side, just lightly beat it. Our cotton. <clears throat> take that and stick it over the top. Now, what we do is that's going to go to the sinker. So when you throw, the arm always needs to be facing down. So I'm going to have the arm like that. I'm then going to take our cotton over the top and I tie this down quite tightly. Okay, so that's nice and tight and firm. I'm then going to take one piece of my chocker and just wrap it around. 
and I'm wrapping it as close to this lip part as I can. And again, I'm using quite a bit of cotton for this. The next piece, which is the back part of it, again, I'm just wrapping it around. And again, also, not too much. I'm coming to the end part here. And I'm just trying to wrap it down. I then take some more tentacles. Stick that next to it over there. Wrap that, turn it around. Wrap that over there, around it, and just work the way back, all the way back to the end, and just start off. Take our scissors, and you don't want it, your sinker to get caught up in that leftover chocker that's there, you just neaten it up a little bit. So there we go. I then take my hook, insert it through there and through the tentacle part of the actual leg. Okay, so that's pretty much what it looks like. To give it a little bit more realism, my trusty glitter. Sprinkle a little bit of glitter over the top of it. So when it hits the water, those little sparkles come down. And of course, all the fish will come and look for it and see what's going on. So here we go. Take our sinker. We can clip the bait. And of course, that bait's going to throw a country mile. Whoops. Comes loose. This then floats up in the water column. And as you're shaking, this will come down because of that lip and back up. Goes down because of the lip, comes back up. Down because of the lip, comes back up. It pretty much looks like a little squid going down to actually look at something, inquisitive. Also in the current, when this is floating like that, in the current, this lip part here is moving the bait the whole time. So that lip basically moves the whole time in the actual water in the current. So it's doing this the whole time when there's current, especially near river mouths. Works very, very, very well, that lip. And it's just moving, moving, moving. You pull it, it comes down. As you pull it, it comes down, it moves. So pretty much a living lip, if you want to call it that. There it is upside down, so you can see it. There's the lip. And as you pull it, it's going to move this bait from side to side. There we go, guys. It's as simple as that in the water. That's what it does. Go out there and make them. They are easy to make. Guys, I'm up to the last one. This is our high density foam one with a rattle in it, as you can hear. You can pretty much form it the way you want to do with your high density foam. Long and thin always works well for me for catching cobs, so I'll stick to it. What we do is we can either put a little tentacle on it. Let's just grab a tentacle quickly. There we go. Move that to one side. We just form it the way we want it to be. There we go. Cut some tentacles into it. There we go. Chock a hammer just to lightly beat it so it doesn't go stiff. And also, for smell purposes, we, we beat our chocker, turn it over, the back part of it, again, I'm using it the big side of it, so I'm not actually really squashing this bait. <clears throat> okay, we're going to take our dangle, stick it over the top like that, we're going to take our thin latex cotton, we're going to bind it up nice and tightly. Okay, there we go. We'll then take a nice thick piece of chocker. And we're going to smash that chocker. Turn it over and use the thin side. Just have a look at it. No, it's still not thin enough. Done. Okay. 
We then take this one, it's paper thin. We take it and we just wrap it around our chocker. So that's pretty much our big dangles. If you're fishing for bigger carp, it's already done for you. We then take our hook. Through the dangle. There we go. And it's on. There we go. So there's our chocker sitting nicely there. We then take a little bit of glitter for daytime fishing. You can use red, you can use gold, you can use any color you want, it's up to you. When it hits the water, obviously that little bit of uh, glitter is going to come off of it. Create a lot of shine in the water for the clean water fishing. Okay, and there we go. Quick, easy as that guys. Long aerodynamic bait, so when, it's, when you throw it, these little tentacles are going to form back like that. It's going to go, hit the water. It's now going to float up in the water column. You've got the rattle when you're pulling it. There we go. You can hear the rattle in it, which is amplified by the high density foam. If you use the soft foam, it doesn't work that well. But there we go. So there's the rattle making the noise every time you pull it and shake it. So there's noise, there's color, there's smell. All the senses you're looking for when fishing for cob, kingfish, any of your predator fish. There we go. Quick and easy as that. The tentacles will move, so there's a lot of movement in it. And there we go. Guys, go out there, make your own dangles, or come to the Kingfisher. You can buy your own saltwater sports traces. They are available from all leading tackle uh, stores countrywide. I'm just going to show you them again. There they are there. I've used them in about four or five different baits. That's them, guys. Go out there, go and buy them. They're quick and easy, or make your own. We sell all the stuff that you require here at the Kingfisher to make your own dangles. Enjoy, guys. Go out there. It's quick, it's easy. Enjoy.